in a city where anything's possible, New York City goes as far as being home to two single grave cemetery sites. The first one's here at the northern edge of this concrete island between 25th and 24th Street, directly across the street from Madison Square Park. This small fenced in area is the eternal resting place of New York born Major General William Jenkins Worth. At the time, a highly celebrated military personality. Worth dedicated his life to his military career by fighting in three major wars and serving in several intense battles. The War of 1812, he actually got rank of major after that war. Then in 1824, he served in the Seminole Wars and received two other ranks, Colonel and Brigadier General. But the most distinguished war of Worth's career was the Mexican-American War fought in 1846. Due to his leadership and bravery, he received the highest rank in military service, Major General, and also received the Congressional Sword of Honor. Three years after the war, Worth was commander of the armies for the Department of Texas when he was stricken with cholera and died at 55 years old. Can you imagine? This highly known military legend who served in all these extremely intense battles falls victim of a common 19th century illness, cholera. If he could decide his own fate, I guarantee it wouldn't have been that. Due to the fact he died in Texas, the state of New York wanted his body brought back to New York for proper burial being this was his home state. Texas obliged, sent the body back, and, Gre and Worth was buried in Greenwood Cemetery. But then, the city had a brilliant idea. Instead of leaving this war legend buried amongst the dead, they decided to create his own burial location and inter him amidst the living. Hence this monument. On evacuation day, November 25th, 1857, eight years worth is dead now. The largest funeral procession takes place here with 6,500 soldiers on hand. And it is here where Major General William Jenkins Worth is laid to rest eternally in his own single grave cemetery. The monument was designed by James Batterson in 1857. He adorned the site with a beautiful, towering, 51-foot obelisk made of solid Quincy granite. Obelisks are Egyptian-inspired and were popular cemetery decoratives at the time. On the obelisk, there are decorative bands that go around that are the names of all the battles that Worth fought in. In the front of the monument is a beautiful bronze shield with an eagle ornament. And then a lovely bronze equestrian relief of Worth in action. Another beautiful feature is the fence, which actually is a cast iron fence which replicates the congressional swords of honor he earned. Finally, this is the second oldest major monument in the city of New York, 1857. And if you ever did wonder where Fort Worth, Texas, Lake Worth, Florida, and Worth Streets get their name downtown, it's an all in honor of this great war hero and American. I thank you for your time. Steve Dewar, Cemetery Nation.